Hello doers, my name is Jose Ignacio. Now here at Placeholder Furniture, which is a new Stealthywood branch affiliate and not something I made up, we use WhatsApp, a worldwide messenger service to communicate with customers. Now thankfully, Odoo offers a WhatsApp integration with our Odoo database. All right, for an example, say I'm making a sale with one of our best customers. They've come to the showroom, they've seen everything, they're gonna purchase it, but they prefer WhatsApp to complete the transaction. This is actually quick and simple, all done through Odoo's WhatsApp integration that operates alongside the Discuss app. Now you might be asking yourself, what Odoo applications are compatible with WhatsApp? Any and all applications that have a chatter and a template can be integrated with WhatsApp. Now this means basically sending payment receipts in the POS app, sending event tickets in the event app, and sending invoices in the sales app, and a lot more, but let's jump into it. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have the WhatsApp module installed on our database. So we're going to go inside of the Apps app, and we're going to look for WhatsApp. Boom! I've already installed it, just because I love saving you time, but here's where you installed it. And up next, we'll need our database administrator to configure the API connection between Odoo and Meta, who happens to be the parent company of WhatsApp. You can check out the WhatsApp advanced tutorial and our WhatsApp documentation to help get your database set up. Now once that's configured, we're going to need to submit WhatsApp templates to Meta for approval before using them. Templates are pre-configured worded layouts that will populate when sending a message. They can even insert special unique data from a record in Odoo, such as a customer name or a sales order. Odoo gives you pre-configured templates in some of the apps to make your lives a little bit easier. Now, I'm actually going to hop on over there since it's already installed, click on the WhatsApp module, and we're going to sort these by name. All right, we're going to scroll down till we see this sales order ship because I'd like to demo something for you. Now this one right now is in the draft stage. Now getting this approved is simple. All I need to do is click submit for approval over here. Now Meta will take a moment to approve or deny the request. It can take a bit of time. And as soon as it's done, you'll basically receive an email once that it's ready and it's been made. All right, now let's shift gears a bit right now. As you can tell right now it's pending. So let's go do something else. I'd like to show WhatsApp in action, which happens to be sending messages from the database. We're gonna go down to the basics and hop on out of here and go into contacts. We're going to look for a buddy of mine, Soham. All right, inside of here, I'd like to draw your attention over to the phone number area. Now, previously, you saw a few options with call and SMS, but would you look at that? We have another option over here, oh, doers. It's the WhatsApp option. And when we click it, a pop-up appears with some options for sending a WhatsApp message. On our left, we can basically change the template that we'd like to send with. We have a few options, such as payment link, event reminder, but I'm going to go back over here to Hello World test because I'd like to show you something real quick. Now, over here on the right, we have basically a preview panel of what the send template will look like on the customer's end when they receive the message. I can also manually change out the phone number, which will get rid of that funky message telling us it's an invalid number. It's valid now. All right, everything looks good. So I'm going to send this message. And once that I do that, as you could tell, our sent message appears here in the chatter. And something cool happens. If our customer responds like they did right there, Soham is very quick at this actually. We get to see their message on this cool little pop-up down here. We can see the customer's reply in the pop-up window, which is very helpful. Now this message also appears in the messages icon up here in the top right. So when we click that, we could even see it there as well with the phone number. Ah, that's beautiful. All right, now as you can tell, there happens to actually be one more place where we can see our messages listed. And that's in the Discuss app. So we're going to go over here into Discuss. Look at that, oh doers. Right inside of here, we have a WhatsApp section. And we can see the Soham Palmer conversation underneath it. But enough chit chat. Let's see how this works in a business flow right now. So in order to do that, let's create a new quotation inside of the Sales app by selecting New. All right, this time we're going to pick a good friend of mine, Timothy. And it's an important reason. We're going to add a product. Timothy is one of our best customers. He's actually on the showroom floor with me right now. And he just picked out our new black office chairs. So let's get him that. And he's yelling at me in the background telling me he actually wants 10 of them. Great sale for me today. Now Tim just purchased 10 of these bad boys, so let's confirm this order. And at this point, he's also telling me he wants to move fast. So I'm actually going to create the invoice. And let's say that I expect him to pay me at least 50% of it up front. So we're going to draft that bad boy up. Excellent. Now before Tim leaves the showroom, I can actually send him the invoice on WhatsApp so he can walk away knowing that those chairs will be secured. Just as soon as he pays via the super convenient link that I'm going to automatically include using a dynamic placeholder. 
and a dynamic variable inside of the template. So right now, inside of the chatter, we're going to hit the WhatsApp button. We're going to see that invoice, and we're going to send it on over there to Tim. Now, once that he reaches that, he can basically pay via any means that he wants to. And Tim's got this on his phone in seconds. So here's what that's going to look like on Tim's phone. Branded with his name, the amount owed, and a handy link to pay on placeholders portal. We can perform simple actions via WhatsApp as an alternative to emailing in Odoo. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Once that meta approves that template we submitted earlier, this could take a few hours or even a day. So I'm going to check back in with you guys in just a minute. Go grab a snack. And I'm back. It's the next day. Now let's head back over to the WhatsApp module just so we could see if our sales order ship template has been actually approved. Now, in order to do that, we're going to click on configuration and WhatsApp business accounts. We're going to select in there. And at this point, I need to sync our templates with Meta by just selecting over here, sync templates. Once that we do that, we are all synced up and ready to use the template. So we're going to select templates in the top menu. And just like that, oh doers, ah, it's been approved for use in Odoo by the Meta team. Now that was simple. Do all of this and more with the WhatsApp integration for Odoo. Now stay tuned next time for more info on basic configuring of WhatsApp in Odoo and the template breakdown, including those dynamic variables. It's going to be a fun one. Now thanks for watching, everyone. Go grab a snack. I love you.